So welcome to the Grand Mod, uh, south coast of France, near Montpellier, for Yachting Monthly's test of the Omo Wing Sail. This is Alain Gonim. He's a former Israeli fighter pilot and keen sailor, and he knew that wings were far more efficient than sails in terms of generating lift and producing drag, so he decided to design one for yachts. He ruled out solid wings. They are more efficient, but they're also more complicated to engineer and to use. Uh, they're more expensive to build and impossible to reef. It had to be soft sails. And what you see here is the Omer wing sail, which is his answer to the problem. It was first conceived in 1993, and this is uh, a wing sail Mark IV, launched in 2013 with partners Formula Marine and One Sails. In essence, it's two main sails on a rotating A-frame mast with a curved leading edge forward. Instead of using a tail rudder to adjust the wing's angle of attack, Omer wing sail uses a hydraulic ram mounted between the mast and boom to change the camber of the sail, which is the angle of the leading edge relative to the training section. Activate the ram and you can tack in about 5 seconds and there's no flogging sails, no winching and very little loss of speed but the wing is efficient throughout the tack. There's a main sheet to adjust the angle of attack to about 10 degrees which is pretty much optimum. And you can sail this boat with just the main sheet and that button. That's all you need. lift is always perpendicular to the apparent wind, so its most efficient sailing angle is beam reaching where all the lift is forward. Broad reaching, the lift begins to vector to windward, so the drag of a Jenica helps performance. The mast is unstayed, so it needs a running backstay to support the Jenica, and there's a Jenica halyard lock to keep compression loads down on the mast. Mark V will have a bounce for it to open up the slot. If it gets too windy, you've got two reefs. And if it gets windier still, you can feather the mast, or just drop the leading edge to depower the feathered mast instantly. There are no rig loads, no shrouds, no forestay, no backstay, no main sheet to generate leech tension. And for boat builders, this means less structure, less weight, so less ballast and less expense. So it sails faster, higher and easier than a normal sleep rig. Hoisting the sails involves three halyards, one for each main and another for the leading edge. And this takes some time, so the system needs a little work. Otherwise, it works better than a standard rig right around the polars. I'd expect to see this fairly soon on multi hulls and maybe a super yacht or two before we see it on anything below 50 feet, but I'd like to think it's coming. Mm -hmm. 